Hello love, Caress here. I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look using my Urban Decay palette. Okay, so I already put on my base in a milk pencil and I already applied my eyeshadow which is just a brown and I already put it on the ends and then the inside of my eyes using my blending brush. Now I'm going to be using this bright orange in my Urban Decay palette and I'm going to use the flat side of my brush and just pack this color into the middle. Now I'm going to be using this brown to make sure they're connected and then I'm going to take this tan color from my Kat Von D palette and just blend away this fine brown line. That's the most important part when you do an eyeshadow. You want to always make sure your colors blend. And I like this Kat Von D palette because it has more matte and neutral colors compared to the Urban Decay and only came with bright colors. So just make sure you take your blend inside of your brush and just blend away that fine line. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into my Kat Von D powder again and use that brown. And I'm just going to work this brown color into my under eyes. And just smudge it out a little bit with my Sonia Cache brush. Make sure you're really gentle with this part because that is a very tender part of your eye. And you don't want to put too much stress onto it. Now I'm going to use this nice tan color here to make sure I highlight under my brow bone and also blend away any other lines that I probably missed out on. But I really like this light color because it really gives you a nice highlight under your brow bone. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be using my Cells Booster. Oh yeah, and I also already did my eyeliner off camera. Sorry guys, if you want to see that, just click onto one of my other videos and I'll make sure to show you how to do that or comment down below. But this white bottle I'm using right now is my Cells Booster from Lancome. It's just an eyelash conditioner that I like to use before I put on my mascara. It just helps you protect your, um, protect your eyelashes from wear and tear every day. And it strengthens and it lengthens your eyelashes. So you don't have to wear falsies. I wear false lashes sometimes, but not all the time. And I'm gonna be using my Grandiose Mascara from Lancome. I'll make sure to leave the um, link in the description box down below. This mascara is awesome. It has like a, um, what is it called, a swan neck. So it really gives you that nice, full, falsy look. You don't have to keep re-dipping it in the bottle. It's really nice. And this is just a little um, eyeliner that I got from the beauty supply store. I think it was like $2 really nice. I can't find any eyeliners that work on my waterline, but this one seems to work really well. It's uh, just a white pencil and it's retractable. I just like to uh, work this in my waterline and it just opens up my eyes more. And today I'm going to be using my True Match foundation with my Jenny Feek Serum. I like to mix a couple of drops of the uh, Jenny Feek into my foundation. So one little pump should do you. And this brush is from Real Techniques. Please go get this brush if you're, especially if you're like a beginner in makeup. This really will help you out. You can get it from like Walmart, Walgreens. I'll leave that in the description box down below also.
that Jenny Feet just gives your skin like a nice dewy glow. Alright, so now I'm going to use my Camp Body Shade and Light Contour and Highlight Palette. I love this thing, as you can tell. I'm going to use the lightest color today, and I'm using my Body Shop brush. This brush is so soft and it's gentle under my eyes, and I'm just going to highlight under my eyes with the powder. I just like the powder today because um, you can use a concealer on your eyes too, but if you want to just, you know, get a light product, I would suggest a powder instead of a concealer. See how it just gave me like a nice little glow and highlight under my eyes? Now I'm going to use this warm color here in the middle. I'm just going to contour a little bit on my nose and my cheekbones, you know, chisel out that fat face. <laughs> Here I'm just framing my face, so I'm just doing the perimeter of my face, like my forehead and underneath my neck and my chin area. And this, I think this brush is number 217 from MAC. It's one of my favorite brushes to blend out. Alright, and to blend away the contour, I'm going to be using my dual finish from Lancome. My, my shade I use is Honey. And I'm just using a brush that I have from Lancome. I'm just going to blend it all out with my dual finish powder. Alright, so now I'm going to use my favorite blush, it's um, Blush and Tresor from Lancome. It's like a nice soft pink mixed with a little bit of gold. I love this blush and it smells like roses, it smells so good. Yeah, and 
middle of my lips. Have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys.